Okay, so welcome to this video on 2020 question A4 on skewed lines. Right, I'll dive into it. We've the given elevation and plan of two, okay, similar reads here from the perfume or fragrance bottle represented by skewed lines A, B and C. Determine the projections of the shortest horizontal distance, right? That's different from shortest distance. Okay, that's very important to know. The shortest distance is who will be when you look perpendicular to the two skewed lines when they appear parallel. Okay, a horizontal distance is when you look along the X and Y one line. Now, I'm going to begin by uh, by drawing a horizontal line elevation. Now, B and D are in line. So I'm going to draw a line, okay, par uh, parallel to X, Y line from B. And from A, I'm going to go parallel to C to D. Now, the reason I've chosen A is because, okay, if I drew, continue this horizontal line um, from C when parallel to A, B, it'll be a long while before it reaches. So I'm going to go parallel to C to D. That's not to say you couldn't do it if you had enough room. Okay, I'm going to go parallel to C to D from A. I'm going to call that point P. I'm going to drop this down to plan. Now, parallel lines are parallel in every orthographic view. So if I went parallel to line C to D in elevation uh, from letter A, I'm going to go parallel to C to D in plan from letter A. Now, a common mistake students will do is they'll go parallel to line C to D in elevation from A in plan. That's a common mistake. Right, so that's P, and here's, okay, B joined to P. So there's a lamina, okay, this lamina is parallel to line CD, because line PA is parallel to line CD. Okay, and A, A, or sorry, PB is a true length. So I'm going to look along the true length line, okay, PB and the reason why uh, PB is a true length is because it's parallel to the XY line elevation. Now, if I look along this true length line, surface PAB is going to project as an edge um, because line PB is projecting as a point. And the key principle is if you look along the true length of a line, it projects as an edge, and when a line projects as a point, the planar surface that contains it projects as an edge. Now, I'm drawing in my X1 and Y1 line. Okay, perpendicular to that. So there's my X1 and Y1 line. I'll be taking my heights from elevation. Right, so C is going to be on the X1, Y1 line. And D, P, and A all have the same altitude. So I'm taking the distance from here. So this is the altitude of P, uh, D, B, okay, and P. So that projects as a point. So that's P1, B1. This is D1, uh, C1, I need to do A. And here's A1. So, A joins here, here to uh, B. Now, so there's those two drawn in, alright, and then I can draw, I can join C1 to D1. Oh, now, we can join C1 to D1, right? Now, C1 to D1, okay, has to project as parallel to uh, the edge view of surface APB. It looks like the two skewed lines are parallel, but they're not actually because uh, surface APB is parallel to line CD, 
but that does not mean that line AB on surface APB is parallel to line CD. Now to get the shortest horizontal distance, okay, I'm going to have to look along the X1, Y1 line now. So I'm going to look along the X1, Y1 line. And the reason I have to look along the X1, Y1 line is because the X1, Y1 line represents an edge view of the horizontal plane when you project from your plan view. Oh, you fucker. Sorry there. There's my X2, Y2 line, and I'm going to take my distances from my X1, Y1 line back to plan. So here's A. This is going to be A2. Okay, C. Okay, D. P uh, is going to also going to be along this line here. Uh, B So I've done all of them there now that was B two okay um D this was D two Okay, that's A2, that's C2, and then, so I've uh, D, B, and this has to be P2. Now, so we know A joins to B. And D joins to C. Okay, and then we're joining them back to... to uh, P2. Now, this is a point view of the shortest horizontal distance here, the line of intersection. So this is a point view of that there, so I can bring that back. So that's where Pierce's line CD, this is where Pierce's line AB. Now I can bring them back to plan. So this goes back to line AB. And this goes back to line CD. One. And then I can get the line in elevation. This is the moment of truth. Okay, uh, and can you think why this is the mo uh, moment of truth? How does this line have to appear in elevation? And it's not easily done. It's it's quite difficult. Okay, when you're doing to get uh, get these spot on. Okay, right. But that line has to project as parallel to the XY line in elevation. Okay, and it's it's not easy. Okay. There's the true length of it there in planks parallel to X Y line. Now, part B, I determine the true length of a line joining A to C. So I'm going to draw a line from A to C in elevation, A to C in plan. Many ways I can do it. Okay, I can draw a line until it's parallel to the XY line in plan or elevation and rotate it, uh, rotate it and find its true length in the opposite view or I could take an auxiliary. I'll put my compass on C, I'll rotate A. So I can rotate it until it's parallel to the XY uh, line in plan. And then I'm going to bring it up and then across from point A in elevation. And here is the true length of line A to C. Okay, and because it says determine, I 
would write in, or I would write in the true length, 25 millimeters. Definitely, okay. If it says indicate, put it on. Um, that's that question done.